Hello, this is Akiko Sudano, stampinginthemeadows.com in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Good afternoon. I hope that you guys are having a nice weekend. And um, I'm still waiting. Here we go. And I hope you guys are having a nice weekend. And um, this is a big week at Stampin' Up! Because we've got this on Tuesday is when uh, the new catalog will launch. And this is the new catalog. And I'm so excited about that. If, um, if you've seen it, there's so many, so many beautiful things in the new catalog and stuff. But in addition to that, there's some additional promotions that I want to take a quick, uh, a quick uh, minute to t tell you about before we actually, uh, before I actually get started. Hello, Karen. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I hope you have a great Sunday as well. First thing is this um, Connect, Craft, and Collect promotion, where if you order, um, uh, have it place an order of $250 or more, then you'll get a uh, additional stamp and rewards of $25. Hi, Chi. Thank you so much for joining me. An additional uh, $25 added to your um, in Stampin' Rewards. And so this is um, the Stampin' Rewards are items that you are, um, are, are dollars that you can uh, redeem for um, free products. And uh, the normal Stampin' Rewards are um, they, uh, they, um, the more you spend, the more you get. But these are the uh, normal numbers. And uh, the extra 25 kicks in on um after you, you um uh, spend two hundred fifty dollars, or if you if you host a party of um two hundred fifty dollars or more. So if you've got a party going, or um and 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 if you'd like, I can set up a host code for you so that you can collect some orders from your friends to help you uh, reach the two hundred fifty dollar minimum. Just uh, let me know and uh, we can take care of that. But this promotion runs from May fourth, which is Tuesday, through the fourteenth of June. And then in addition, there's this Join Plus uh, promotion where if you decide you're going to join and become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then the normal the normal thing with the, uh, the uh, becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is that for ninety nine dollars you get a um, hundred you get to select a hundred twenty five dollars worth of product, and then through um, the rest of this month, starting on Tuesday through the end of the month, then um, you'll be able to select an additional thirty dollars more of items. Items. So they've got these two promotions going on in addition to the um, the new catalog and um, opening up on Tuesday. So I just wanted to tell you all about that and get that out of the way. So today I'm going to um, make a Mother's Day card and I'm kind of combining the old with the new. The, um, this um, stamp set is um, a Wish for Everything stamp set. And this is one of the stamp sets that's, uh, that's carrying over into the new catalog as well. And it's got a, a, a bunch of different insights sentiments and outside sentiments for for holidays for um christmas and halloween and um and and st patrick's day and as well as mother's day and for father's day and so i'm going to use um you use that and what we have is we have um inside sentiments as well that go with those um holidays and um then it's got the dies so i'm going to select the mother's day die and the day die so that we can we can um you die cut the words mother's day and put that on our card so um and then i've got one of the uh, uh sentiments um set up to um put on uh for the inside of the card so we'll uh do that i've got those set up and then i'm going to also use one of the new stamp sets um the hand pen petal stamp set to just decorate a little bit on the inside of the card but one of the things that I'm going to be using is this um, this new, um, and they call this a specialty paper, but really it's kind of like a uh, a glimmer, and it's got iridescent um, iridescent um, uh, kind of glitter in it and this is one of the glitter papers that it doesn't um the glitter doesn't get all over the place so it's done in there it's really really nicely um um set in there and so we're going to cut our mother's day sentiment out of this and then we're going to adhere it to a panel and what i've done is i've cut this is um the new hand pen hand penned 
hand penned designer designer series paper and this this one has some uh, pretty misty moonlight and um, this is blushing bride actually which is really pretty and then the daffodil delight and uh, pool party so it's got some really pretty um, uh, blues and greens and yellow in there um, and um, with um, black um, black outline and stuff so I've cut um, I've die cut a um, scalloped um, rectangle and this scalloped rectangle is also new it's from the um, the uh, contour I think con scallop contours dies and this is also another new bundle that's in the um, uh, catalog and th this has got this um, these uh, scallops number one um, I, I love the stitched so sweetly scalloped um, rectangles in uh, and they're returning as well but that these are number one they're a little bit larger scallop and um, then also you've got different each each of the different sizes has a different feature you've got the dotted or the stitched and, and this is kind of and then these are the cutout ones and stuff so that and then it comes also with this large scalloped edge and as well with that die so i i've taken this um this uh dotted one and i've cut out of uh basic white paper and then i cut a, a panel of uh this uh, uh hand penned designer series paper and i'm going to adhere that to the center of that so that what i've got is a a, a basic white scalloped edge and then it's going to have a floral center and this is just this is just really a a simple Mother's Day card, um, with just a, a, a some pretty flowers and a nice um, shiny greeting. So we'll we'll get uh, the shine from uh, sparkle from the um, glittery greeting. So on, and I've cut this so that I can just see some of the um, just so that it's small enough so that it fits in there with uh, the little dots still showing. So this is ready. And then I'm gonna put this on top, uh, just in the center of a Blushing Bride um, card base. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the, um, the uh, the the Mother's Day. And this is um, with, um, this is that specialty paper and before I do that, one of the things that I'm always um, thinking is that this is the um, adhesive sheet paper. And I've cut a small square that I can just cut behind, uh, place behind here before I do the die cutting. Now, I've cut this out. The um, This adhesive sheet comes in, um, let me show you, it comes in a long um, 12 by 6 pack. So there's uh, there's 12 sheets of this so you've got a lot of um, uh, these adhesive sheets so and they really really are good one of the things that I've heard in the past about different kinds of adhesive is that it um, can sometimes get um, it, it can kind of stick out behind your uh, your uh, your die cutting and it makes it sticky on the outside but I haven't seen that problem with these guys and um, then um, and it's also very, very, very thin. So I'm going to stick, stick this one on the back here. Let me put this down. And it's a very, very uh, fine uh, adhesive. It's really, really thin. So I just put this on the back like this. And then I've got another little strip right here. So there's, there's um, three strips in there as well that you can cut out. And then you basically I pull this off and then I feel what which side is sticky and I said this is the sticky side so I'm going to just stick this right here on on the back there okay so that's ready and then I'm gonna I want to make sure it, so this is this is this um specialty paper is ombre so it's I want to make sure that the lighter is on the top and that the darker is on the bottom and I'm going to cut the mothers and the day out so that um so that it's like this oops that's upside down so that it's like this so I'm going to take this over to my die cutting machine and I'm going to cut those out and I will be right back a 
nice little ombre um, glittery Mother's Day um, sentiment that we can put on our card as the greeting, as the main part of the greeting. Yeah, hold on a second. I'm getting this cranked up. There we go. Okay, so I just pulled that, ran that through, and I wanna be careful with this as I pull this off. It's gonna come off pretty pretty easily, pretty well. I just ran this through just once. Oops, okay, there's the die. And um, should be able to get everything off. See, one of the things I wanna be very careful about is that I don't lose the apostrophe, the little, um, all the little uh, the little holes, I can I can lose that, but I don't want to lose the apostrophe, and the backing is is I'm gonna, I want to keep that there too, till I'm ready to till I'm ready to pull it off. Okay, there's my apostrophe. There's my die. Oops, what happened to my apostrophe? Oh, it's still in here. So it looks like the apostrophe came off. So the, there's the apostrophe right there. And it came off, but it's still in there. So it, and it's got the sticky. So I'm going to leave that until I'm ready to uh, put that on. And I've, I've adhered the, um, the, the mother's uh, letters and then I'll put the apostrophe in there. So some of my backing is staying in there. Which is fine. Because ultimately we want it all to be removed. And we just care about the... Um, the sticky thing. And I don't want it. I don't want it to rip. So I'm, I'm being careful to remove this carefully. Actually, I guess some of that I can go ahead and remove the backing there. So this this is um, got the sticky edge there, and um, I've got all of my other sections except for this section that's got to come out. So I'll pull this off. And stick that in here. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do with this card is that I I want I want to put the the happy and and that's just a stamped a little happy, and I want to put this about right here, and um, I I've got this um, where I embossed it with. Um, it, with white embossing powder on um, Misty Moonlight cardstock. And I'm not sure if I want to leave it with that, use that one, or if I want to use uh, uh, a basic black cardstock. So I'm removing. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for joining me. I'm removing the backing, the sticky backing here. And I'm going to leave the, uh, the, the happy there so that I can kind of um, place the rest of my words. Okay, there. So I've pulled this off and use my tweezers and place this, I think about right here, kind of in the center here. The thing that I like about this, um, this font that is that it, it's just such a a, a, a wild and uh, free uh, free font free moving it's got a lot of motion in it and stuff and uh, 
Then I, here's my little um, apostrophe. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to, that's sticky on the back, place it right up here. Now, okay. So that's, that's there. So now let's get the day out. And um, I really, I really love working with die cut words. And this is, okay, I, so the backing is staying on and I'm able to pull the, uh, the word off pretty easily. So let's, let's get, I don't want these other little pieces. They need to be cleaned out. So I'm going to get those poked through and leave them in my little bowl here. And then the Y there. So it says day right there. Let's see. Pull it off. And the nice thing about the sticky is, is that I don't need to worry about, I don't need to worry about adding additional um, liquid glue and having it mess, get messy and spill all over the place. There. And so what I liked about this is that I've got kind of an ombre with the, the glitter look going from light to dark on the bottom. And um, this, um, this is that ombre specialty paper in the new catalog. And, um, and that's, um, it's, it's got some nice sparkle to it. Can you see that sparkle a little bit? Is that showing up? Yeah, and, that, and it's iridescent as well. Okay, so this is ready. And I can put that aside. The next thing I want to do is I want to check out and with this happy and see if, if I like it better with the misty moonlight or if I want it with the black. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to stamp this little happy and it's such a tiny little happy on the edge here of this uh, basic black panel. And then I'll sprinkle it with white embossing powder and we'll heat set that. And I did that upside down. That's okay. And then we can figure out whether or not we're better off with the black or with the uh, misty moonlight. Just a little bit of white embossing powder on there. That's good. And get my heat tool. Heat that up. So I've got my heat tool and I've got it set to um, number two. And I'm going to heat this up to melt the embossing powder and let it get nice and shiny. Okay, I think we're there. Good. And then I'm just going to cut it out with my um, scissors. It's crooked, so but that's okay because I'm going to cut it out. And this is such a tiny little word that it's easy to easy to cut it out. And you just want to cut it with a, a small border so that the, um, the uh, black color is not overwhelming. So I'm going to just trim this off and then... Um, look at it from the side and um, there so if I have the light on it I can cut it fairly straight and this is still a little crooked here so I'm gonna trim this off a little bit straighter and the nice thing about getting having the little paper snips is they're so there is that they're really sharp, and that you really get a nice um, 
uh, they're really tight so that you don't have a lot of slippage. And so I just want to nip the, the corners a little bit here so that I don't have sharp, sharp, sharp corners. And there we go. There we go. And so that's with the black. And that's with the uh, Misty Moonlight. I'm not sure which I like better. I think I'm going to go with the Misty Moonlight. Yeah, I think the black is just a little bit, a little, a little, just a little bit harsh. So I'm going to go with the Misty Moonlight and I'm going to add a, um, adhere this with a glue dot in the back. Pull it off. see here. The Mother's Day can be kind of on an angle, but I think I want the happy to be kind of straight across like that. So it says, Happy Mother's Day. I keep turning it. There we go. I think that looks good. All right, and then I'm going to and I have just a simple blushing bride card base, and I'm going to put this on the card base with uh, dimensionals. And so I have my half dimensionals here. I'm really trying to mix things up because I find that a lot I make a lot of cards with the uh, with just like a, a rectangle in a rectangle and there's so many nice rectangle products out there that um, it it um, makes very very pretty cards um, but need to be a little bit more creative so we'll see so I got all my covers off, and let's just put this right in the center here. There we go. Happy Mother's Day. And then, so the, the next thing I wanted to do was add a bow to it, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with a, a white bow, and or this blushing bride twine bow. I think I'm gonna go with that one. There's a little bit more contrast with that. And I'll stick it right there and I will adhere it with some glue dots. Now this this blushing bride um, uh, is a thick baker's twine and it is uh, blushing bride baker's twine is um, is uh, hard to is is hard to find a pink. Uh, baker's twine that looks good with blushing bride and so I was so ha happy when they came out with this um, in the uh, in the um, mini catalog and it's with the uh, the snail mail set and it, it comes with a a white and uh, a blushing bride baker's twine so let me just trim the ends a little bit I don't think we need them that long there and so that's basically I wrapped this around my finger three times and then tied it tied it up in a, a knot there and then I want to add some of these are the um, in color iridescent um, sprinkles and they are um, they're also with the new catalog and I'm going to use these are pale papaya but I think they look really good with the um, with the um, with the Daffodil Delight. So I'm gonna put three of these on, and then they also goes, it also, uh, I think, picks up with the um, the um, the shine and iridescent from the um, specialty paper. And I'll do 
a large one up there. Um, a little one right there. Let's stick another large one. Where should we put this? Maybe right here. So I've got three of the glitter enamel dots, and I think we're done. There we go. So for the inside of the card, I have a, um, uh, a basic white panel, and I um, have the um, large floral stamp mounted um, from the, uh, the um, hand pen petal stamp set. And I'm just going to ink this up with Blushing Bride. And I have my old Blushing Bride stamp pad. It still works, so I haven't replaced it yet. I replaced all the others, but I still have the old Blushing Bride one. This way, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to, I'm not even going to stamp it off. I'm going to just put this in the center, kind of the center. I think it's a little off. Sorry about shaking the camera there. There. And then I'm going to, um, stamp the sentiment and this I'm going to stamp this in um, uh, Misty Moonlight ink and this is the sentiment that says um, this is for Mother's Day and it says um, um, first um, first uh, let me let me stamp it first and make sure I'll make sure it's not upside down first my mother forever my friend which I think is very, very sweet. And we'll just put it up, kind of, let's make this, make sure this is straight, and then line this up, and kind of stamp it um, to the side of the, uh, of the flower stamp. And hopefully I'm straight. Hopefully I've got good even pressure there. First, my mother, forever my friend. And then I have another uh, another strip of the hand penned designer series paper, and we'll put that on the bottom. Find my little strip of liquid glue there. I think this paper um, doesn't really have an up or a down, so it can go a lot of different ways. Make sure we're straight. Always like to check the back and play with it some more. And then trim off the extra. There. And then I'll use my stamp and seal. Put this on the inside. And one of the things that um that um that Stampin' Up always does is, is, is they have all, one of the be nice things about them is having all the, the colors that um, that carry over from year to year and stuff. So you can use um, uh, things that are old with things that are new. And that was that was my uh, that was my uh, objective here today because this um, this um, the stamp set and the dies for, have been around for, for a couple of years now. And um, yet with the new products, they really, really look nice and you can use them. And um, and even, even Blushing Bride has been around for such a long time. But it looks good. And so that's the inside of the card. And then there's the front. So that's a simple Mother's Day card. And Mother's Day's next weekend. So thank you so much, Karen. And um, 
everybody, I hope you have a great week. Now, I need to tell you something. I am going to be going away for uh, a month. So I'm probably not going to be able to do uh, Facebook Live until probably the middle of June or so. So um, thank you so much for supporting me. I look forward to seeing you again. Everybody have a great Mother's Day and um, have a great Memorial Day. And take care and um, I'll see you when I get back at, in, the begin in the middle of next month. So thank you so much and have a great week. Bye-bye.